Well, hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with your Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide. And we are on June 17th, 2020. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew. I know it's been a while. Again, I apologize. But here it is. We're looking at our sun the last 48 hours. And we do have some incoming activity. Some activity and sunspots have been observed on the backside of the sun. Still looking at a very quiet earth-facing sun right now. Departing activity. No coronal holes to talk about. Plasma filaments, that's pretty much it. This is the departing sunspot. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing to Morning Dew. We are now over 10,000, but yeah, I'm really happy to be over 10,300. I mean, I, when I think of that, I, I picture 10,000 people out front of my house waiting to see my show. And that's very exciting. And I, I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate your support and I appreciate the likes, which are very important because YouTube's already shadow banning me. We need to get that like those like buttons up going to look here at the real-time solar wind as it has calmed down it did jump up yesterday to about 550 kilometers per second but it's really calm at 280 kilometers per second watching quite the flip in the phi angle there and density spike looking here at the schumann resonance and you can see an impact for sure as we have a power of 10 amplitude power of 40 Looking here, the last 24 hours for earthquakes, it's been pretty busy across Cascade or Alaska and down into California here. Idaho, lots of minor earthquakes today. As well, California and Nevada with a 2.9 there. 3.4, 2.5 here in Oklahoma and a 2.7 in Whites City, New Mexico. through Central America, watching Puerto Rico still going off here. 3.5, largest reported today. 4.5 here, Panama. Moving into South America. 4.2, Chile, Atacama. And southward with a 4.8. As well, watching some action here. 5.1. Edinburgh of the Seven Seas, St. Helena, South Sandwich Islands region, as well watching some Mid-Atlantic, Santa Cruz, De Flores, off the coast of Portugal with a 4.6, 4.2 there in Turkey, as well 4.7 here, Pakistan, quiet across western parts of the Ring of Fire, but minor 4.9 going across Philippines and Indonesia. 4.5. Pretty deep, 5.6, 280 kilometer depth. Tonga. As well, Japan here with a 4.5 today, 10 kilometer depth. And moving north towards Epico Volcano, 4.4. Watching an uptick in seismicity throughout the Aleutian Islands here as well, Alaska. 4.0 reported there, 2.5, 3.5. So yeah, pretty busy 24 hours, but nothing major in size of earthquakes. Just lots of minor earthquakes around the world. Looking here the last seven days, watching things pick up here in South America, deeper earthquakes starting to ring off, and as well through Central America. Most of the action has been through the Americas and the Atlantic Plate versus uh, West Ring of Fire. But as well, a lot of movement here up into the Eurasia Plate, off of the African Plate. And that's the last seven days for earthquakes. Let's get to the Disaster Alert Center and have a look at the most recent volcanoes being updated. Looking here at Sangue in Ecuador. Wow, there's a lot of fires. We're going to have to get into that in just a moment. Holy smokes. 
yeah, it looks like Africa. Okay, so yeah, Reventador in Ecuador. Uh, Copohu, that's a new volcano as well. Dakono in Indonesia. Sabankaya in Peru. Suisunajima in Japan. Nishinashimo in Japan. Fuego in Guatemala. So that's about eight volcanoes being updated in the past 24 hours. But wow, there's a lot of fire updates here. We're going to have to look into that. I know there were some fires going throughout Arizona. A couple forest fires. Those are drought conditions that are continuing across uh, southwestern United States. But yeah, it looks here over the Congo region and Angola. A lot of wildfires starting to break out on a very hot continent of Africa. Wow. Let's have a look here at the NASA worldview and see what it looks like. And wow, that is smoky. Getting a closer view here, you can see there are hundreds of forest fires right now that have erupted across Africa. This was yesterday. Wow. Thoughts of prayers going out to everybody in Africa. They're already going through drought seasons and as well, the pandemic. But that's going to be very smoky and very hot. And it's already very hot in Africa. We'll get into the five-day forecast coming up momentarily. But we're going to have a look here over satellite imagery over Europe and up to the United Kingdom as they've got some storms moving in and some very warm temperatures, humid air. And yes, watch for the unstable air mass to hang around for the next two or three days. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Starting out here, home base, Calgary, Alberta. As we have some cool temperatures right now as the backside of that low pressure system heading eastward brought down quite cool temperatures but look at the warm temperatures that are coming from Alaska it's kind of strange but there's a lot of warm temperatures in Russia as well there are forest fires breaking out across there stay tuned to the Daily Do it will be keeping you an update on that overlooking southeastern United States watch for the rain to hang around for the next few days and warm temperatures to really start to build in. And of course, the thunderstorms and the extreme weather will continue across most central United States as a low develops over the Colorado Rockies again later in the forecast. But Ontario, northern Ontario and into Quebec, watch for extreme weather as well as that low pressure system that brought all the to uh, tornadoes and hails hail across Alberta, Saskatchewan moves eastward. Overlooking west coast here into BC, atmospheric river of moisture here just penetrating the coastline. Oh, that's a lot of moisture that's going to be coming in in the five day forecast continuing, but mostly northern BC and up into Alaska. Same kind of thing is happening here in the West Pacific as we have a strong line of moisture coming straight from Nepal, straight out into the West Pacific, off the coast of Japan, watching a pretty strong low develop later in the week. Monsoon rains continuing across Indonesia, the Philippines. Heavy rains and low pressure system hanging around here in India, Eastern India, Pakistan. Watch for that low pressure system to bring extreme weather and flash flooding conditions across India. So stay safe, my Indian friends. I do have a lot of subscribers there. Overlooking Africa, not much to talk about except for coastal rains towards Nigeria. Cooler temperatures in South Africa, but definitely, yeah, warm temperatures are really starting to move in to Angola through the Congo region. Huge dust storm coming off of the coast of Afri Africa right now as well. Very dry and hot continent. And just watching across Europe, all of these, all of this warm temperatures and moisture is headed your way. Unstable air mass is continuing. 
and the heat is rising as we do have extreme heat conditions that will be coming to India and as well parts of Vietnam overlooking South America not much to talk about except daily evaporation rains heavier through Colombia and coastal regions Venezuela as well watching a system here just leaving eastern Argentina and that brought some stormy conditions yesterday overlooking the southern tip of Argentina watching snow and moisture continue to pummel the coastlines and pile up we're going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern much love to you all and thanks for watching stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your morning due thanks again bye bye